about ready to, it's about time to start talking now. <laughs> it's that time again. <laughs> it's that time again. Hmm. All right. Thanks everybody for joining us here on another edition of Extreme Health Radio. This is going to be a really, really fun show. We've got Stephen Heuer from Synergistic Nutrition on the show and uh, this is going to be a really fun show. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward to this. Love his work and love what he's doing at Synergistic Nutrition. So we'll be talking to him in a few minutes and let's see what else. My name's Justin and my co-host Kate. Hello everybody. And we're broadcasting worldwide from Southern California. We're in over a hundred countries now. Dang. Isn't this amazing? <laughs> I was looking at our stats the other day, over a hundred countries. Yay. It's just so cool how the word can get out there these days. A lot of fun. Uh, we do shows four days a week on Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So it's an honor to be here with you and sharing this information with you. And it's a beautiful day here in Southern California. It's gorgeous. Amazing. It's thank the Lord. Sunny and warm. Be- beautiful spring day. Yep. Uh, if you'd like to follow us on Facebook, feel free to do that. We'd love to have you join our community. You can do so at extremehealthradio.com slash Facebook and you just click the like button and follow us. It's fun to interact with all of you on there and stay up to date with what we're doing. And I want to thank Mike Adams of naturalnewsradio.com for having us on his network. Mr. Mike Adams is great guy at naturalnews.com and really doing some great work there. And today is, let's see, Wednesday. What's the day today? I don't know. I don't even Wednesday, know. April 17th? 17th, I think. <laughs> That's right. April 17th, 2013. I should know that. <laughs> uh, and this is episode number 88. So you can find this show at extremehealthradio.com slash 88. And if you have any questions for me, you can email them at, at justin at extremehealthradio.com. Or if you want to contact my wife, Kate, you can email her at kate at extremehealthradio.com. That would be great. And if you would like to leave us a message, we've got a new little system on our website and you can go to extremehealthradio.com slash voicemail and you'll be able to uh, leave a message right from your computer, which I think is really cool. So if you want to leave a message for any of our guests ever, you can do that. It's a cool little feature. I saw it yesterday. It's pretty cool. Put together by SpeakPipe and you can do extremehealthradio.com slash voicemail. And I want to let you know this show is brought to you by Amazon.com, and uh, that's another way to support us if you would like. If you ever purchase from Amazon, please go through our link and support us that way, extremehealthradio.com slash Amazon. And you can do so for all of your purchases, and we'll get a little commission, and it'll help support our work. And you don't even have to buy anything related to health. You can just go ahead and purchase anything you want there. And let's see, we've got some great guests coming up. Uh, We've got on Thursday, April 18th, Adam Bergstrom, solarman111.com, and he does solar nutrition. I love him. Yeah, he's a great guy. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, he's a really, really great guy. And then on Monday, April 22nd, Carl O'Helvey, and his website's beatlungcancer.net, and I believe he's the oldest living lung cancer survivor in the world. He was diagnosed with terminal lung cancer in 1974. Wow. And did natural therapy, so it would be great to talk to him. <clears throat> Interesting. Excuse me. And on Wednesday, April 24th, we've got Timothy Hickey on from friendsofwater.com. So if you're interested in a water filter and uh, getting clean water in your house, you'll want to listen to that show. Uh, we all know that our water these days is really polluted. So uh, that will be a really great show for you to tune into. And uh, today we've got Stephen Heuer, and he's the founder of Synergistic Nutrition. I believe it used to be called Cocoon Nutrition, but he's the founder of that company, and he's a uh, he has a, sci- a Bachelor of Science degree in naturopathic medicine and knows a ton, and he promotes a uh, raw grass-fed protein powder, which is really amazing, and he's just an all-around well-rounded guy, and he sees people, and he did something called psychic surgery, I saw on his bio. Is that right, Stephen? Yeah, I've done actually two different sessions of psychic surgery. One was uh, a guy from the Philippines that came out to Hawaii, and then another guy was uh, um, from out here in Virginia, and you know they literally... Like open up the flesh of your abdomen or wherever they're working on and reach in and um, work on pulling things out that shouldn't be there. It's uh, definitely an amazing experience. In fact, it was so uh, one time when I did it with uh, this one guy, the white guy out of Virginia, he uh, allowed me to stick my own finger into my abdomen and touch my own intestines. I mean, <laughs> it was like that. that's how uh, interesting that was. Wow. It didn't do anything to change my health though. That's the thing is, is that 
I struggled with like chronic constipation for 24 years and I was always trying to reverse that. So the first guy that I saw in uh, Hawaii, Alex Orbito, um, I was hoping that his you know, work to remove any whatever was wrong with my intestines would fix that, but it didn't. Um, and in fact, I went down to see uh, John of God in um, Brazil uh, back in 97 in an attempt to you know, see about how spiritual healing might um, heal me of the chronic fatigue and the uh, chronic constipation issues that I was dealing with. Wow. And once again, it didn't, it was, it was a pleasurable experience in terms of you literally feel like angelic love energy beaming from him to you and everybody in the chairs because you're getting it as a group. And it feels very good, but it didn't actually do anything to create a permanent fix for my body at all. Hmm. And um, that's been my journey. It's like, Wow! Yeah, you know, these, these look- spiritual psychic things have not worked. Yeah, I'm looking at your your bio here. You've done live cell therapy, ozone therapy, psychic surgery, uh, magnetic therapy in England, um, and you've yeah. had really great success with all kinds of different chronic degenerative issues. Um, that's just amazing. So you've come full circle yourself and just been on this path for for your for a long a good part of your life. Yeah, yeah. I remember being a really happy person as a kid. I mean, I just in general felt life was amazing and I was always kind of just happy uh, up until about age uh, 15, well, beginning like age 14, 15, but 15 was, 15 and a half was when I got these two large mercury fillings and then that was like the beginning of the end of the cheerful, innocent, curious, happy to be alive human being Mm. um, because this mercury ended up doing so much damage to my body. There was so much off-gassing from the mercury from the fillings and so much going of it into my intestines that my <clears throat> I got really sick with a sore throat. The sore throat wouldn't go away. I was put on antibiotics for 20 days. And when you kill off your good flora in your gut, your gut is even more exposed to the devastating effects of mercury. And the mercury then can come in direct contact with the nerves and the intestinal lining. And in my case, it killed off enough of the intestinal nerves that the normal elimination I'd experienced my whole life, I never had, never experienced constipation ever. All of a sudden, I had severe constipation. All of a sudden, the peristalsis, the movement of food through your intestines was being uh, prohibited because the nerves had been killed or a large percentage of them. Wow. <clears throat> so all of a sudden, your, your um, food, if it's not exiting, you're going to start to experience the absorption of all the putrefaction and all the toxins going into your bloodstream. And as that happens, you, can start to, and you go from being your happy person to being a depressed person, an irritable person overnight. Wow. And that's what happened. And uh, you become so self-conscious that you know you end up your whole life has changed from that point forward. You don't you don't end up doing the normal thing that people normally would do. The normal progression would be okay. You're gonna start to have relationships with your opposite gender, and you know maybe even get married and have kids in your 20s. And none of that ever happened. I had to devote my whole uh, attention to diet and nutrition and figuring out how to reverse what happened. No one even knew what went wrong. They was like in that day and age, people were not really aware of, of much, you know, and uh, my parents were not clued in at all. So I had to just sort of like figure it out myself. Wow. And that's what's, you know, led me to know all that I'd know. And, um, you know, and then become a practitioner in 1990 with a degree as a naturopath. And uh, I've been doing this for that since 1994 forward professionally, full so, time. So at 15, when this happened to you, at what point in life or what age did you start to go down this journey of figuring all this out and becoming aware of what had happened? And uh, what probably about, about age 16 was because wow. I'd start to experience it much more severely by then. And there was mm-hmm. like such a strong degree. So I read the book. Uh, Rational Fasting and Mucusless Diet Healing System by Arnold Errett. I read the Essene Gospel of Peace at that age, and I did a three-day water fast on the Stanislaus server in uh, California wow. in an attempt to see if I couldn't, you know, basically the Essene Gospel of Peace is a very, very inspiring book. Have you ever read it? No, I have not. Re- I've heard about it Me for too. years, but I've never read it. Okay, so there's this uh, old Aramaic manuscript that this guy named Edmund Bordeaux Ezekiel had found in a library in France and he translated it into English and it was basically uh, a recounting uh, from the disciple John that was with Jesus way back 2,000 years ago where Jesus appeared to a bunch of sick people who lived out in the wilderness because there wasn't really anything they could do in society so they lived as a, a cultural group out in, in the wilderness and they knew he was a master, so they begged him, would you please heal us? And he said, instead, I'm going to teach you how to live by natural law, or in the, the way that he said it, it was more like how to live uh, in harmony with, you know, 
Mother Earth and uh, uh, the elements so that the angels of you know water, sun, and earth can, can heal you and, and serve you. And so he said, you have lived in ignorance of natural law. You have been eating foods cooked by the fire of death your whole life. Wow. And this has caused death to occur in your body so that Satan could take over. And the way that this is all written is in the language like as if as though you were reading the King James Version Bible. It's kind of like similar type of really? uh, verbiage. Huh. But basically he goes through saying that for every year you've lived in ignorance of natural law and you've transgressed and been eating cooked foods and killing your body, especially even cooked animal proteins, cooked flesh and stuff. <clears throat> you, if you fast for one day, your Father in Heaven will forgive you for a year of your sins. So if you're 40 years old, you fast for 40 days. If you're 30 years old, you fast for 30 days on water. Wow. And during this time, he said, you need to take, a, 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 in this day, this is what they used, the first enemas ever recorded, you hmm. take a, a gourd with a trailing vine on it, you hollow out all the seeds out of the gourd, you fill it up with the angel of water, you let the sunlight warm it, and then you put that vine with the, uh, it's a hollow tube vine, you put that into your, he called it the, your hinder parts, and you allow <laughs> the angel of water to enter into your bowels and cleanse you of all your sins. And he referred to all these illnesses as, as sins. Wow. wow and uh, so people did this, and they reversed all these ailments, and they got all better, and then he says, now, when you, eat, here's the way you need to eat. You need to take and eat only your fresh fruits and vegetables, and then you all, and the way that he gave them, he spoke about them in terms that are different than what I'm saying, but basically that's what he was saying, fresh raw fruits and vegetables, and you need to take nuts and seeds, and you need to germinate them. In particular, the, the wheat berry, you take and you germinate the wheat berry, and you allow the sprout to form on it, and you then um, crush it into a cracker, and you dry it in the sun, and you have these wheat crackers and you have fresh fruits and vegetables and dried fruits and vegetables in the wintertime and you use fresh raw goat's milk in your diet to the tune of about one quart of raw goat's milk a day and this forms the total of your diet so that all your foods are cooked by the fire of life which is the sun and therefore they're living foods and if you live this way then you will know joy and happiness all the days of your life and you will live a long life and you will never know disease and even if you get by venomous snakes or insects it will not harm you wow so you you read this at 16, I guess, and then started yeah. Im- implementing some of the ideas in it. Did you do some fasting and all that at, yeah, at that I did age? Yeah, the three-day water fast, and uh, I couldn't go the whole whatever. I was uh, the age that I was. I couldn't go the 16 days. It was just like <laughs> beyond me, and I didn't have enough guidance, and I didn't uh, – it was just, you know, you needed a whole lot more support than I had. Right. And when you have mercury poisoning, it makes it much, much harder to benefit from a fast because so many metabolic pathways are basically ruined and not functional uh, due to enzyme inhibition that you're not producing glutathione, you're not detoxifying readily. So you end up being, it's a much more serious situation that has to be taken at a much more gradual pace. And uh, which, you know, if, if I'd had this one world whey protein powder back then and I knew about it, that would have been the more gradual thing to do. If I would have done the whey protein, I would have been able to have raised my glutathione and detoxified my body of the mercury. And, you know, my whole life would have been a different uh, story. But, uh, you know, things are what they are. Yeah, wow. they are. They are what they are. So how long after that did it take for you to get, I'm sure you have your amalgam fillings out now. Um, yeah, I got them out in 1991, and it didn't reverse any of the symptoms. Like, I still had chronic fatigue. I still had adrenal exhaustion. I still had chronic constipation. It wasn't until 1997 that I took a training from Dietrich Klinghart, and he said, here's all the symptoms of mercury toxicity. I had probably 98% of those symptoms, and I then did DMPS and DMSA. These are man-made sulfur synthetic amino acids. DMPS shots I did for four months, and then DMSA capsules I did for five months followed out thereafter, and that's one dose per month. And in the ninth month of that program, my bowels started working at about 75% normal for the first time in 24 years. Mm. And then over the course of the next five years, I tried um, things like uh, nanonized chlorella um, and uh, regular chlorella <clears throat> and PCARX mm-hmm. and uh, different products designed to remove mercury out of the body and cilantro and different things that are out there. And I found that uh, this one called Mercury Magnet was the most effective because when I did stool specimen tests on myself, I found that when I took 
mercury magnet, and this mercury magnet is nothing more than a peat moss product where they take peat moss, and peat moss is a natural heavy metal uh, magnet. It pulls metals, heavy metals into its cellular structure, and when you clean those metals out through a chemical bath, then you leave just the cellular structure left, which means that it's a magnet for heavy metals when you put it into your body. So they do this special process to clean the heavy metals naturally in the peat, peat moss cellulose, and then they add zinc and potassium to that cellulose structure. This then takes, is taken as a supplement, and they did these studies on pigs where they took these four groups of pigs, and they gave them four different dosages of this stuff, and they first gave them – first they gave them radioactively tagged mercury in their mm. – you know, as a – whatever, in their body. So their body got permeated with radioactive mercury, and then they separated them into four groups and gave them four different dosages. And the, do, the group that got the highest dosage of this mercury magnet material was able to eliminate 87% of the mercury out of their nervous system in only 11 days. Whoa. And so when I took that stuff and I took it with chlorella and did my stool specimen tests, I was showing high levels of, he- of mercury coming out of my body still. Wow. toxic levels so yeah. um, that became my next most reliable supplement to work on for years and that's what I did for years that along with good diet and gradually this through stem cell production in my body I was able to regrow the nerves in my intestines so that I you know now they work like 95% normal and then so basically my, my uh, whatever Wow. So did you adopt the new diet from the book you had read or were you kind of dabbling in that for a while or did you I go dabbled in the vegetarian path for a while. I did the just veganism in the from ages 16 to uh, 20. Uh-huh. Uh just vegan cooked vegan, you know. Mm-hmm. Um and then uh I experienced adrenal exhaustion. I I that's when I had the adrenal exhaustion where I woke up one day and I felt like my adrenals had shut down. Wow. And like uh, all my motivation to learn and, and do anything athletically was, you know, reduced by like 75%. I was just like really wiped out. Wow. And um, <clears throat> so I retreated from college and I uh, just started to regroup and figure out what I was going to do and figure how to fix myself. And I got injured doing a construction job. Um, and in the injury, I was on um, workman's comp for a year. And when mm-hmm. I did work, was on workman's comp, I immediately was searching for um, – Ways and means to fix my intestines. So I found a book, read this book, told you about doing a seven-day uh, juice juice fast with clay psyllium uh, mm-hmm. drinks. You ever heard of the Victor Irons uh, cleanse with clay and psyllium and beet juice tablets and wheatgrass juice tablets? No, I've been in this world myself for about 10 years. I've never heard that name. <laughs> yeah, Victor Irons is the guy that sort of like originated the clay psyllium drinks, I think, because he popularized it. Sony's number seven and whatever these various formulas he called them. <clears throat> and um, anyway, so that's what I did. And that's like in the, and then I did this 10 uh, day juice fast. Uh, mostly carrot, carrot juice and grape juice, mostly fresh raw, and with the clay psyllium drinks and the uh, beet juice tablets and wheatgrass juice tablets. And on days five through eight, this old gray tire rubber type, you know, mucoid plaque came out of my intestines, and I felt like reborn. I felt like oh I felt like a spiritual rebirth, and it felt like I was all of a sudden happy and cheerful the, for, for the first time in like four or five years. Wow. Wow. And uh, I was like, going, wow, I've I've just found the very thing that everyone talks about looking for through religiosity, through Christianity, through all the things I'd been doing, thinking that I was going to find my way to this thing called the kingdom of heaven within myself by, um, you know, good works and by prayer and by, uh, you know, asking some God force outside of myself or Jesus to heal me. And I'd found that thing called the kingdom of heaven, which is experiencing love. Literally, nothing bothered me. Literally, I felt love just consistently, it just felt like wonderful, and uh, I had I had psychic information coming into my mind that was like phenomenal. Like I'd opened up my mind to all kinds of uh, phenomenon and information that I, if I just put my attention to it, I would just come to my mind. Did this kind of happen right after you? What they call drop yeah. your lining? Was this kind of instantaneous? Yeah, it was right after the said the ten day cleanse. Wow! Right after the ten day juice cleanse. And uh, I had people that were talking to me during shortly thereafter and stuff, and they'd ask me a question on two occasions. And I had never studied the subject matter that they were asking me about before in a textbook or anything. And I knew the answer on two different occasions. Wow. That, that capacity shut down a little bit after, after all that, but that happened twice. And it was so shocking and amazing. I'd never experienced it before. Wow. And so what I was real – now coming forward to this day and age, I can give an explanation to it. Basically, all that's happening is, is that every single human being at the DNA level is, is a – both – not only is 10% of the protein relegated to protein synthesis, cell division, and correct functioning of that organ or tissue, mm-hmm. but the 90% acts as an antenna to keep you connected up to the quantum field, or you can call it God – 
the omnipresent God force throughout all space-time creation, that 90% is basically an antenna to keep you connected up to it. And that's how all people in all times have gotten all their information to direct them and guide them as to every single aspect of their lives, whether it's whatever their purpose and, and goals are, the information comes to them via this uh, being an antenna to receive it from the mind of God, the, the omnipresent mind of God, the Akashic record. You've got universal knowledge out there. You just have to access it. And if your cells are working correctly, you have more and greater access to it. Now, and you can be more internally guided than externally guided, and you can be finding your life extremely fulfilled. Now, is this part of what they call the pineal gland and, and all of that? Well, of course, but I mean the pineal, the pituitary, all those glands are involved in it, but you can just literally get it kinesthetically through your whole body. You don't even have to process it necessarily uh, through the brain uh, antenna. It can be just people can say, well, I just feel that this plant is good for me to consume or whatever. Just like the horse. I mean, if you know the Hoxie cure, you know the Hoxie cure? I do. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, okay. Back in the 1800s, the, hero, the, the guy named Hoxie that was a farmer, his horse was put out to pasture to die. And the horse started going around and eating specific herbs in the field and progressively got better and better. So the farmer followed the horse uh, on his trek through the you know, pasture and mm-hmm. started to write down the names of the particular weeds that the horse was eating. And he decided that maybe this herbal elixir that he could create from this might help humans. So he created an herbal elixir and gave it to people with cancer and their cancers were going away and they had a fairly high success rate. So here you have an animal who's not intellectually processing anything. He's just intuitively uh, kinesthetically connecting to that that's needed and consuming it. Wow. That is so amazing. Wow. That's, yeah. why, that's why so much science today is only holding us back by 25 or more years and the rate at which we could progress towards things because we're, people are saying, well, we don't have any scientific proof. We don't have any way we can measure it yet. We've not measured in the blood the changes we need to see. We've not measured in the body these changes we need to see so that we can verify that, say, vegetarianism is superior. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, right. It's like it's you can just see it by sheer evidence of people that learn how to do it correctly. That uh, <clears throat> that basically vegetarianism, when it's done with like the whey protein, or if a person can tolerate raw grass-fed milk, you know, and raw eggs, mm-hmm. like a lacto-ovo vegetarianism, tendency towards high amount of raw, except for cooked starches. That diet produces a superior human being and superior not only physically with athleticism and physical beauty and physical health, but intellectually, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Ah, I love it. We love that. Who doesn't want that, you know? I mean, <laughs> Seriously. Exactly. So, Everything that a person wants. The whole law of attraction is dependent upon a person having a desire for whatever it is that they have that goes into the subconscious mind, and they amplify that signal of what their desire is on an emotional wave of love and peace. And when you put love and peace as a frequency at a strong, you know, amplification emotionally from you out into the mind of God, the quantum field, then by law, that thing will come to you. Not maybe, it will come. Wow. Yeah, that's, and the way I, you tune into that field of peace and love is by staying in tune with nature. Is I've done this back and forth for years. I was doing the raw, raw meat primal diet for eight years thinking this was going to rebuild my glands. I was very inspired by Ogenus von der Planet's book, We Want to Live. Uh-huh. I know him personally. I've talked to him numerous times. I've had him give lectures in a, up at my office area in San Jose, California when I lived over there. <clears throat> I know the subject backwards and forwards. And, yeah, we, and yet the entire time I was on meat products, raw meat products, my vibration was altered towards um, antagonistic thoughts, towards negativity, towards um, – Ir- irritation in my nervous system towards not being content. Yeah. And I, I would never feel a deep state of peace. Now, I'm not saying that's going to be that way for everybody because I know when people have had like near-death experiences and they've had out-of-body experiences and they come back into their body, they're psychically opened up and their heart chakra may be open permanently regardless of whether they eat meat or not and it doesn't affect them. But for people who have not yet experienced that strong state of psychic awakening or kundalini awakening such that they can remain open, conscious, and aware of who they really are, even if low vibrational food is consumed, <clears throat> then, then – and that's the majority of us – then I say you better be aware that what you put into your body, body is either complementing you towards peace and harmony and love frequency, which is God, or it's, com- it's compromising you towards 
uh, fear, hate, anger frequency, which is uh, absence of God. Oh, I hear you. I hear you. We got to take a short break, Stephen. And if you're out there and you're currently taking a whey protein powder, because a lot of people do that, uh, ask yourself if the owner of the company of the whey protein powder that you're taking sounds like this. <laughs> I mean, this is amazing. And uh, totally. I can guarantee you it's that's not the case. So when we get back, we're going to talk a little bit about the, uh, the whey protein, the One World Whey. And I want to ask uh, Stephen a little bit about his personal personal diet because he's just kind of touched on that. So we're with Stephen Heuer from Synergistic Nutrition and we'll be right back after this short break. So there's no real way to avoid toxins or chemicals in our daily life. It seems like we're exposed to them no matter what we do in our lives from paint fumes to mercury fillings, coal fire plants, perfumes, soaps, off gassing of carpets in our houses and genetically modified foods and foods that are sprayed with pesticides and herbicides, the xenoestrogens in plastics and car exhaust, secondhand smoke, even your dry cleaning and laundry detergents, even your mattresses have chemicals inside them that outgas. So getting these toxins and chemicals and poisons out of your bloodstream and out of your fat cells is going to be really critical moving forward uh, in our society because it seems like every year there's more and more chemicals that keep becoming introduced with new products in the market. So I would consider getting one of these far infrared saunas. We've got a great, great sauna developed by Phil Wilson. And I've known about his work for many, many years. And I'm so proud to be offering his sauna on our website. And he's been in this business since 19. 75. And this sauna is really great because it slows the aging process. It helps with weight loss and burning calories. I think you can burn like 600 calories in 15 or 20 minutes and it helps to cleanse the skin. It improves your sleep and helps to prevent illnesses like flus and colds as well as energizing the body. And it's great for improving blood circulation and promoting cellular renewal as well as increasing metabolism and inducing profuse sweat and it's really, really great. And the great thing is too, is you don't produce any lactic acid. So you can sweat without producing any of this lactic acid that you would normally produce if you lifted weights or went for a big long run. So if you're interested in this, you can check it out, extremehealthradio.com slash sauna. It's great because it sets up in about two to five minutes and it's portable and it's super easy to clean. It's got low electromagnetic field radiation coming off of it and it produces energy and heat inside the sauna evenly. It's great, great machine. So if you're interested in sweating like this for only 15 minutes a day, uh, it's great. It requires zero preheating. It's got a one-year warranty. And Phil Wilson is a great guy. We're so proud to be offering his saunas on our website. So if you're interested, check it out, extremehealthradio.com slash sauna. Or you could check it out in our store. And it's $990 plus $25 shipping. And that's really a good deal because many of the saunas out there, you can check them out. They're in the thousands of dollars, two to $4,000. So this is great. You can buy it through PayPal. You don't even need a PayPal account. It's 100% secure. So consider doing this if you're interested in uh, living a long, healthy, disease-free life. So check it out, extremehealthradio.com slash sauna. You're always dancing through that music, aren't you, Kate? Something about that music. I love it. Eating a bowl of fruit in the studio and eating and dancing to the music. Playing my banjo. <laughs> uh, we're having a good time here with Stephen Heuer of Synergistic Nutrition, and he's just a wealth of knowledge, and you can tell how passionate he is, and just an amazing guy, and uh, we promote his protein powder, which is one world way. But before we get into that, I want to find out all about that and how he makes it and all of that good stuff. But uh, before we get into that, I just want to ask him, uh, what kind of diet, Stephen, are you on now these days? Um, what kind of diet works best for you these days? Mostly raw. I do um, cooked starches, though, like cooked grains. Mm -hmm. So um, I'll do... Um, Fresh raw fruits and vegetable juices, I mix them up a lot. The other day I took like melon, you know, honeydew melon and celery and juiced it and it was like the combination was perfect. I drank a bunch of that. I went outside and I spent from like 6.30 at night till 8.30 at night planting uh, 24 grapevines, bare root grapevines in my front yard and I had all this great energy and felt just totally <laughs> wonderful. Um, wow. Yeah, and then uh, 
Um, I do a lot of the whey protein powder. The whey protein powder forms a staple in my diet. Okay. Um, I'll do probably um, four to six scoops a day. You know, and that'll be two in the morning, two in the evening, or three in the morning, three in the evening. And I'll mix that with water or nut milk or um, a fruit juice, depends. I'll use probably eight to a dozen eggs a week, raw eggs a week. And I'll just do either the whole egg, blend it up in my uh, protein drink, or I'll do it as uh, just egg yolks because the egg yolk is the most that portion that's the portion i feel my body needs the most okay um pasture raised eggs or good quality eggs Mm -hmm. um i'll do uh small amounts of nuts and seeds raw like a handful two here and there of cashews or i'll make some cashew milk or some walnut milk or something like that as a as a basis for mixing my whey protein drink up with um i'll do nut and seed cheeses i'll take sunflower seeds soak them germinate them um, blend them up with water, and I'll add some probiotics, and they'll culture them in an oven at the warm temperatures in a glass mason jar for uh, a day, and then they'll be uh, pre-digested by the bacterial fermentation, so it's a nut or seed cheese, so the amino acids and fatty acids are more assimilatable, but they're also raw and alive. I'll add Bragg's liquid aminos to that when I do that and make it as a salad, so I'll cut up you know, cabbage and celery and uh, whatever happens to taste good in the moment vegetable-wise with that uh-huh. nut or seed cheese. Um, I'll do granola, organic granola. I'll do cooked quinoa. I'll do, um, you know, uh, cooked oats, you know, as my cooked starches. I do lots of fruit, lots of bananas, lots of dates, lots of dried figs. Um, So, you know, but I transitioned recently from, you know, uh, basically from a primal diet where I did raw meats uh, to this where I'm doing the whey and the uh, The raw fruits and vegetables and the eggs. Uh And that has proven to be, the, the, I'm so glad that I've finally been able to achieve this. I've always wanted to achieve it because I always felt the best mentally and emotionally when I was vegetarian, but I couldn't sustain it because of lack of physical energy. Mm-hmm. But I've found that when I do the way that I'm doing it now and I'm taking a supplement called Aveno Court, I'm supporting my adrenals enough. When a person has low adrenal function, it becomes difficult for them to function on a vegetarian diet. And then, um, then they ne- end up of necessity eating flesh proteins to get the necessary, you could say, adrenal stimulation or adrenal um, support, depending right. on how raw or cooked the, the flesh is that they're eating. If it's more raw, they'll actually get hormonal nourishment from the meat and the juices. But um, if it's cooked, it's more stimulatory because they destroy pretty much everything. Um, but either way, they feel more stable in terms of physical energy and blood sugar. And uh, when you can strengthen the adrenals with a veno cord, and a veno cord is a nine day old fertilized chicken egg, where a chicken egg will, after it's been fertilized, will you know, undergo incubation. And for one th- days one through nine, it undergoes these metabolic transformations, where by day nine, it's produced a lot of these fibroblastic growth factors number two uh-huh. and stem cells. And when you take that as a freeze dried supplement, it's the most profound support to the adrenals and whole body tissue repair of anything I've ever worked with, with regards to the adrenal support. I've worked with every single adrenal supplement on the market, pretty much. I mean, or the vast majority of or all the categories that are out there, mm-hmm. whether it's homeopathic herbal, glandular, free amino acids, uh, you name it, I've done it, and I've had severe adrenal issues, and none of them fix it. Wow. None of them work very well. This one, and I've got the whole, I've got several books on adrenal fatigue, and I've read their recipes, I've done their stuff. Those are pathetic performers, those kind of glandular and, and high B vitamin-based products, right. pathetic performers compared to AvenoCort. You take AvenoCort, it is the best thing I've ever worked with, uh, for adrenal support, and then you do other things. Like when you have been injured by mercury or drug usage or vaccines or anything, mm-hmm. you have damaged the DNA that has to be supported in unique biochemical means. So you need to produce, your body's not going to produce as much uh, B6. It's not going to convert the B6 from your diet into the active B6 and it's high quantity because of the damage done to your cells. So you don't have as much neurotransmitter production. So your mind's not going to work as well. You're not going to have as much physical and mental energy. Mm-hmm. So here you, there are certain other supplements you have to do to compensate for that. And that's what I've honed to a very, you could say, well tailored plan of action for the vast majority of people to both treat them, you know, help treat their symptoms in terms of nutritionally intervene and support these cells that are damaged so they function much better every day, but work towards replacing the damaged cells with new stem cell production. Yeah, wow, that's amazing. So now I want to talk a little bit about, oh, real quick, do you do any uh, raw meats or meats at all anymore, cooked or raw? I don't. You don't, okay. I don't. I did that for eight years. 
I did that very thoroughly. I would rot my meat. I would eat it rotten because it was more easily assimilated. <laughs> I did all that stuff. And no, I don't do that anymore. And I'm very glad that I don't do that. It feels a lot better now that I'm not. Interesting. Okay, that's great. So uh, now your sort of flagship product is the uh, One World Way. And, you know, it's interesting. We just had a friend of ours, uh, her doctor told her that her husband who's sick right now needs to be on a whey protein. And I didn't, you know, I don't know these people very well at all, but the doctor told her. And so she went down to GNC and got some, you know, standardized uh, whey protein. And there's a huge difference between what you see in a store like GNC uh, from that to the One World Whey protein powder. Um, yeah. And I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about, you know, how it's made and all that good stuff about that. Yeah. Yeah. It's really, really, really vastly different. When I was first introduced to this whey protein powder over two years ago, I was really, uh, it was a conversation on the phone and the guy told me he was going to send me the samples. And I was pretty, I mean, I'm basically yawning at the subject on the phone. Like, sure, I'll try it. No big deal. I've taken these before when I worked in the vitamin department and health food store back in 89 and, and mm -hmm. even before that. And, you know, I've never gained weight on them and they always usually tend to constipate me and make me feel uncomfortable. I'm, I'm just not interested in taking a glorified cake batter product. It's just not going <laughs> to thrill me. So I, uh, Finally, uh, got this sample. I took it, and that very same day, I noticed that I was more cheerful. I felt more energy, a little bit lighter, and more energy, you know, to, to function better. And there was a definite shift in the direction towards better health. And I was not wanting meat. All of a sudden, I was going three days without wanting any meat. Wow. And I went, wow. I called the guy up and I says, what? This is a, I've never had anything like this. This is really, really unique. It tastes phenomenal and I'm feeling these benefits. And he says, well, you know, I'm doing some things differently. And over the course of some weeks and time, he divulged a little bit more, a little bit more. And I've learned basically a lot of it's proprietary and he won't share because that's the only way that he can keep the, uh, the topic, his particular private uh, technology. But he's, I think, taken about 30 years to develop this and he has a multi-million dollar lab to wow. do it where – First, he sourced the best milk in the entire country that he could find. So mm -hmm. first he did, he bought specimens of grass from various grass-based dairy farmers throughout the country, and he analyzed the chloroplast content of the grass under a microscope, and the chloroplast content indicates the degree of pro protein level and nutrient level of the actual grass. Okay. That translates into the quality of the milk and the health of the animal. Okay. So um, if, you, if you see all the other whey protein powders on the market, uh, that are not specifying that they're grass pasture raised, then you know that they're fed agricultural waste products. And agricultural waste products would be things like um, beet pulp, um, uh, citrus peel pulp, um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> the uh, grape skins, uh, you know, anything that's basically a waste byproduct, but it's still a source of a carbohydrate. They can feed that to a cow to give it carbohydrates, but it lacks all the nutrients that a cow physiologically needs for its own health and to produce healthy milk. Mm -hmm. So there's a guy, uh, Francis Pottinger, did this really excellent study, you know, 10-year study on 900 cats, and he showed that the cats fed raw milk and raw – basically fed them four different diets. You know, these 900 cats were fed four different diets. Right. And <clears throat> he fed them the raw milk and the raw meat. Were, those ones were healthy. The ones were fed cooked milk and cooked meat were sick. Mm -hmm. Then he did another experiment where he fed the, the cats pasteurized milk and they got sick or sweetened condensed milk, they got sick. <clears throat> they'd have smaller litters. They'd have more difficult time nursing, all that kind of stuff. If he fed them sweetened and condensed milk or pasteurized milk after they were already beginning kittens, they would die pretty quickly within um, just a few weeks or months. Um, then he fed uh, them raw milk from cows fed this agricultural waste stuff instead of grass, and they also had the same health deficiencies as if as though they were eat, drinking uh, the pasteurized milk. Wow, that's interesting. <clears throat> so he proved that even if it's raw milk, but from grain fed, not, you know, dry feed fed and yeah. uh, agricultural waste fed cows, that the milk's going to be inferior and thus the proteins and the nourishment from the milk is going to be inferior. So <clears throat> first of all, all the products on the market that are out there, when people are just shopping for price uh -huh. and they're going, well, gosh, I can get this a lot cheaper at Walmart or at GNC. It's going to be a fraction of the price. Well, they're talking about buying garbage. They're talking about buying a protein powder that is literally a burden to their body uh -huh. and is not providing actual regenerative nourishment like a unheated whey protein powder. And then, then you come to the category of whey protein powders where they're grass-fed, sweetened with stevia, fairly high quality, but they're still heat-sterilized. 
So there is that higher quality category of whey protein where they start out with good raw milk, they, they process it, then they pasteurize the milk with heat, and that then causes a bending and twisting of the amino acids that make up the proteins. It destroys all the enzymes. It destroys the beneficial bacteria. You have to destroy the bacteria by law. You have to sanitize it by law. That's why it's done. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but that ends up destroying the amino acids, which make up a large percentage of the proteins. And those bent or twisted amino acids are looked at by the body as unusable material for the body, and the body has to then use the kidney and liver energy to excrete them as wastes, and then therefore that's a burden. So, <laughs> and then you move over to move over to our product, One World Way, and here you have a man who, for the first time ever, has figured out a way to kill off the vi- the bacteria that are naturally in it and it comply with the uh, you know, USDA and FDA uh, legal requirements to sterilize the product, but not doing it with heat so that you leave the amino acids that make up all the proteins fully intact, un- not bent or twisted, but in their normal, non-denatured or non-damaged state. Now your body can use this stuff 100% without the burden of having to excrete what it can't use. Now your liver and kidneys are freed up to do things that they previously couldn't do, which is take care of repair. So we get, and also we get people increasing their glutathione production on the whey protein because whey protein happens to be nature's richest source of the sulfur amino acid called cysteine. cysteine. And then cysteine is used by the body to make glutathione in the cells. And inside the cells, you're supposed to have 10% of your protein content is glutathione. And that is supposed to be the number one means by which the cell cleanses itself of toxins and neutralizes free radicals so the cell is not damaged by an incoming free radical. So when you raise your glutathione levels by the levels you're supposed to, <clears throat> all of a sudden you detox efficiently the accumulated toxins in your body, inflammation goes away, and you get all these wonderful benefits. Wow. It's just phenomenal the difference yeah. in this product compared to the whey proteins uh, that you have an option to buy out there. Yeah, wow. that's amazing. And glutathione, we've got to take a short break, but glutathione is huge, and it's been called the master um, hormone. Antioxidant. Antioxidant, right, to... Uh, yep detoxify the body and uh, this is really good stuff and if you have not been turned on to a whey protein powder yet I would definitely look into this uh, I think you're really going to like it uh, but we got to take a short break we want to have a longer segment at the end to keep talking about this uh, one world whey protein because this is just awesome so we'll be right back with Stephen here after this short break so a few years ago when I was working for this company, it was a really small company and I had been wanting a Vitamix blender for years and years and years, but they're so expensive and I just hadn't saved the money at that time to get one. And so as a Christmas bonus, they knew that I loved the Vitamix, so they got me a Vitamix, the 5000 blender. And that thing is so incredible. It was right at the beginning of my raw food journey and I was using it th- about three times a day, really. Today, I still use it about twice a day to make blended smoothies and things like that. But the Vitamix blender is really, really great. And if you go to extremehealthradio.com slash Vitamix, that will redirect you over to there and then you'll be able to purchase that and we'll get a commission for your order. And you'll also get free shipping too. So that'll be great for you if you're interested in saving about 25 bucks on the shipping. And with the Vitamix, you can make sauces and dips and bread. You could make ice cream with it. I've done a lot of ice cream. You can just make the most incredible things. And it's my favorite because it's got a tamper on it. And you can put ice and frozen berries and avocado and some honey and things like that. And with no water at all. And you have that tamper and you can make the most amazing ice creams with it. So... The Vitamix is my favorite blender of choice, and if you're in the market to buy one, I would greatly encourage you to do so if you have the money for it. Uh, And if you do it through us, through extremehealthradio.com slash Vitamix, I'll get a little commission for it, and you'll get free shipping. So uh, it works out for you and for us too. So if you're in the market, please do it through us. That'd be really cool. And you're gonna love this thing when you get it. You're gonna fall in love with it. You'll never go back to a regular blender again. So check that out, extremehealthradio.com slash Vitamix and I hope you enjoy it. All right, we're having a good time here with Steven here. You can hear how passionate he is and how into this stuff he is. Man, he's just uh, a stick, firecracker, a stickler for detail, and I love, <laughs> love that. It. Yeah, because that's where we need to be. That's where we need to be going. Is yeah, is products that are as high quality as his, and um, so this is really, really good stuff. And if you haven't 
bought any of this stuff and you want to go through our link, uh, we're affiliate of uh, Synergistic Nutrition. So if you want to go buy some of this stuff and you're interested and you uh, want to do it through our link, we would get a little commission. Um, and you can check that out at extremehealthradio.com slash way, W-H-E-Y. And that'll take you over to that page. But uh, Stephen, we we're talking before the break about the glutathione. Now, uh, does... Well, I guess it's it's a tough question because I was going to ask you, do you know if some of the other protein powder, whey protein powders on the market, are they high in glutathione? I wouldn't imagine they would be, but... Actually, actually, what it is is they're not high in glutathione. No whey protein has glutathione in it. What whey protein has in it is the amino acid structure and the specific amino acid, the sulfur amino acid called cysteine oh, right. that the body can't get enough of or doesn't get enough or very much of in the standard diet and that uh, whey happens to be nature's richest source of it. So yes, any whey protein powder on the market has cysteine mm -hmm. in it, but because of the heat sterilization done to the milk prior to turning the whey into a powder, you've destroyed whatever that percentage is. Uh, okay. You know, I'm going to just say with my uh, an educated opinion, it's probably at least 30 percent um, of the of the you know available amino acids have been destroyed. So 30 percent of the cysteine has been destroyed. However, even though that has been done. Uh, they have done studies on um, a grass-fed whey protein that's been heat sterilized and shown that it increases the glutathione levels by 64%. Wow. Um, that's, a, that's an incredible – if you're a practitioner and you've been doing this uh, for a long time and you understand that the whole key to getting somebody well or the, one of the largest factors to getting somebody well is detoxification and you hear that fact – you're going to be you're going to be flipping blown away and mm -hmm. you're going to be like totally elated that you have a tool a natural tool in nature that you can use consistently on just virtually everyone to support the the essential process of detoxification uh, at the cellular level. Ale Alexis Carroll did a brilliant study that start, was started in 1913 on chicken heart tissue in which for uh, Basically, he created these very cell cultures and he fed the cells daily their nutritional thing and, and cleaned them daily. And certain groups of cells, he would allow the metabolic waste of the uh, cells to accumulate in and around the cell. And when he allowed that to happen, the cells would begin to age and they would eventually die. If he cleaned the cells every single day, the cells would remain youthful and cell dividing and eternally youthful indefinitely. And they performed that experiment. For 28 years, the cells continued to divide and be continually youthful. One day, the technician forgot to clean the cells, and they died. Or That's what rumor says. Is about 28 years later, the technician forgot to clean the cells, and they died. Uh, chicken heart tissue. Chicken heart, chickens only live 7 to 14 years, so uh -huh. you know, these cells live in 28 years is a sign that he said that basically this cell is immortal if two requirements are met adequate nutrition and complete elimination of all wastes. Because we have metabolic cellular waste produced as a natural result of the cell's production of energy, and you also have incoming toxins from all the uh, environmental toxins uh, that we live, you know, this environment we live in nowadays, and radioactivity, and, 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 and uh, then you've got medications, and, which are extremely toxic, and, and you've got all this stuff happening. Right. You end up with much more than your body is ever designed to handle. So now detoxification becomes a top priority. If you you want to avoid senility, senility dementia, and uh, Parkinson's and Alzheimer's and all the signs of, de of deterioration and aging, detox is the key. Got you have it. your brain and your whole glandular system and body completely detoxified, and then you can be a young 90-year-old person mm -hmm. instead of a, you know, suffering, ailing, you know, bedridden person, you know? Yeah. I hear you. Yeah. So, I think I remember correctly. Is there 25 grams of protein in each scoop of this whey protein? Powder? Yes. Wow. Yes, there is. 25 right. grams of protein per scoop. So it's a good, generous amount. Wow. You know, and people's dosages vary according to their ability to absorb protein. Um, like I said, I do two to six scoops, uh, four, to, four to six scoops a day myself. Okay. Um, other people might be fine on one scoop twice a day, one scoop once a day. It just depends on how efficiently they absorb uh, protein, and that's just dependent upon their, their GI tract and how their body act. I basically say people need to determine their dietary uh, quantities of food by their uh, own appetite, you know, and not go by some chart or some textbook ever. Their body, your body knows best when to eat, how much to eat, right. and or not to eat, you know? Right, right, right. So, Kate, uh, did you have another question? or? Oh, I was just curious. Is there a group of people or anyone you've seen over the years that, who, who's not a good candidate for taking this whey protein? Is there anyone who it doesn't? Thus, thus far, no one's been a not a good candidate. Wow. Every single person that's had a dairy intolerance that's taken it has been fine. 
I think I had one person complain that she said, oh, I had a little bit of dark circles under my eyes the next day. But I said, well, that could have just been your your body detoxing and your liver Hmm. working overtime to filter it out. And thus the carbonic acid and stuff didn't get eliminated because the liver was dealing with other toxic removal. She just, she concluded it was a reaction. Uh Thus far, every single dairy intolerant person has been able to go, you know what? I'm taking this whey protein. It's the first dairy I've ever been able to take with no negatives and only benefits. Because it has no casein or lactose, right? It has lactose. It's just that 98% of the lactose has been broken down by enzymes so that they're broken down to their sugars and therefore there's no intolerance. There's only 2% lactose. For, so for even people with dairy, it's lactose intolerance and I have lactose intolerance and so do other people I know. In fact, one of the people that works for me and we have zero problems, you know, yeah. no flatulence, which is what happens when you don't break down. The other thing is that the 2% of lactose that's in there is easily digested because it's not been heat altered. The same thing that happens to amino acids when they're heat altered and they become bent and twisted and your body can't break the protein down to get at the amino acids, enzymatically you prohibit that from happening after it's been heated. The same thing with sugars like the lactose. When you heat it, you end up changing its structure and making it less digestible to your body, thus creating the gas, whereas when it's left raw, it's much more digestible. Right. Uh-huh. Yeah, raw is much better. And um, So how much protein, if someone's listening to this and they and they want to build some muscle, let's say it's a woman or a man, um, how much protein do you recommend people get per day? I, you can't say. It's just like one of those things where it's because your liver function, your d- degree of absorption is so, it varies so much to being highly efficient to highly inefficient. Right. Because your liver function varies so much from being congested and recovering uh, to needing um, less because it can't tolerate to being highly efficient so that it needs, you know, it can handle more. And those various factors all combine to give one an appetite on what feels right. Uh huh. So a woman, you know, might be okay one scoop once a day, one scoop twice a day might be good. Um, or a man might be two, three scoops. But, <clears throat> you know, I just don't have, you cannot give those numbers out and be anywhere near accurate. I've heard numbers like, okay, basically if you take, 8 to 16 grams of valine uh, in your diet a day. It's an amino acid, and you have to have the other amino acids present too. But that particular amino acid, <clears throat> uh, valine, leucine, and isoline, is, um, is, uh, it's actually leucine. Mm-hmm. If you get 8 grams of leucine in your diet a day, you'll activate a muscle protein synthesis process in your body called mTOR, a um, mammalian target of rapamycin, whatever, you know, it's some, some scientific name, but it talks about <laughs> turning, on, turning on protein synthesis in your body so you can grow new muscle tissue. You need 8 grams of, of leucine a day and or up to uh, 16 grams. So that's 3 scoops of our whey protein minimum and up to 6 scoops to meet that, that minimum need. And then you also have one-third of your muscle protein tissue is composed of the branched-chain amino acids, valine, leucine, and isoleucine. Nature's richest source of the branched-chain amino acids, valine, leucine, and isoleucine, is whey protein. Wow. <clears throat> so it's great. We've had num- numerous men report to us. They've, they've gained muscle size and muscle strength effortlessly without any further exercise on this whey protein. Um, but if they are exercising, they notice just a tremendous level of endurance. Mm-hmm. I had a guy named Bruno in Canada last summer or some before last, he was using our whey protein for the first time. He was a major cycling advocate. So he was out there doing 40 kilometers uh, twice a week. That's, you know, <clears throat> that's 80 plus, you know, 90 miles, mm-hmm. some, you know, twice a week. He took it up, he got on the whey protein, and all of a sudden he had this such an increased level of muscle, muscle endurance and, uh, yeah, I guess strength too, that he was able to go 47 kilometers every single day in 110 degree heat wow. and after he did the 47 kilometer bike ride he'd go to the gym and take another scoop of whey protein <laughs> and then he'd work out for an hour and a half with weights oh my gosh that's <laughs> and something that's at 50 some odd years old he said wow. that his body went to looking like he was 20 years old again that's amazing it's like the Popeye and the spinach yeah that's just <laughs> amazing exactly I think wow. Popeye was really consuming whey protein you know, <laughs> I think you're right but not in a can not in a can <laughs> <laughs> you know I wanted to ask you too you know a lot of people make the correlation between, especially in the fitness world, make the correlation between uh, protein and, and building muscle. And they'll talk about obviously how many grams per day and all that to build muscle. But I think what a lot of people don't realize is that all of our internal organs, right, need protein. It's not just to build muscle or to oh, yeah. lose weight, but it's for your actual internal organs like your liver, gallbladder, all these things need protein, right? 
Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, and there's that cell turnover rate. There's the cells, the cells need for antioxidants to protect themselves from free radicals so that they're not dealing with inflammation all the time. And so the glutathione protects there. Plus there's the repair rate of the cells, which is of course being supplied by the amino acids found in the way. And then, you know, you've got uh, the, uh, what was that one fact I was going to say? It's slipping my mind right now. But yeah, it's basically your protein needs are throughout your whole body. And oh yeah, it's when you do the whey protein. They've done studies where they found that if you do the whey 30 minutes before a workout, 30 to 45 minutes before a workout, Mm -hmm. you have an exceptionally improved level of muscle repair going on from your anaerobic, you know, muscle building activity. And then if you take it 30 minutes after your workout, you you keep your testosterone levels higher and you maintain this desirable what's called positive nitrogen balance and the ability for your body to not uh, cannibalize its own skeletal muscle proteins to support uh, its glucose needs because now it's got a supply coming in from the outside diet. So you end up keeping your muscle. It spares the muscles from being lost, but it supports the building back up of them to larger size because of the workout you did. Mm -hmm. So there is a before and after scientific study that's been done showing that if you take it before your workout and after, there's a tremendous benefit for muscle building. Wow. Yeah, that's amazing. And uh, so really raw and grass fed is huge for this kind of thing because, um, you know, a lot of the whey protein powders have, if they're not grass fed, if they're feedlot cows, they're getting hormones and antibiotics and all kinds of things uh, that these cows are, are really just don't have. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You want your cows to be preferably fed on grass throughout the spring and summer months and then really good green grass hay throughout the winter months Mm -hmm. and uh, then they will produce the richest and best milk possible. They may not produce as much milk as the ones that are fed uh, the higher carbohydrate sources and the grain sources, but the quality will be higher. Wow. Now, why cow and not goat? Well, it's just in this case, it's a matter of uh, economics probably and mm. uh, that the cows produce a significantly larger quantity of milk. Sure. And because the whey protein fraction of cow's milk is the same size proteins as occurs in goat's milk and or mother's breast milk, you have the same ease of digestibility mm. that you do with those milks. Now, the casein portion that makes up cheeses from cow's milk is the large protein structure that's difficult to digest that people have allergies to and digestive disturbances to and mucus formation from Mm -hmm. that is the stuff that's not in the in our whey protein at all that was removed and so you end up with just the pure easy to digest small protein whey structure wow wow that's a so now if you well i want to just ask you a little bit about some of your other products real quick because i know time's kind of running out on us but uh you've got a product called synergy one and you've got all kinds of other products as well uh yep. talk a little bit about yep. some of those you know and, and that okay kind of thing. yeah synergy one has helped a lot of people over the last so oh, 13 or so years it's uh raises growth hormone levels when you spray it into the cheek area of the mouth You'll absorb this special growth factor peptide that raises your growth hormone levels in your body. Uh Growth hormone is the master repair hormone. It signals the cells in their ability to absorb amino acids. When you see an older person that's all wrinkled and they've shrunken in their height, Uh that is because their growth hormone levels have declined and that there are other growth factors as well, but that is the the dominant one. And when their growth hormone levels have declined to such low, low levels, they cease to absorb the amino acids uh, as efficiently as they did when they were younger. So their cells uh, lose their size and function due to loss of protein. Okay. And uh, so when you take this uh, Synergy 1 and you raise your growth hormone levels, you end up uh, improving your cells' ability to absorb amino acids. They synthesize protein better. So this means every tissue of the body works better, whether it's your brain, your vision, your thyroid, your adrenals, your liver, your reproductive, your immunity, your skin, your hair, everything works better. So people have reverse gray hair sometimes. They reverse their wrinkles to a degree. They're losing body fat, building muscle. Their libido comes back. Their liver function improves and becomes normal. Their thyroid function improves. Their adrenals become better. They sleep better. They have a better mood. It covers all the bases. It's a very, wow. very powerful product. If I could go more public with it, I would, but I basically keep that one kind of just whatever. <laughs> you uh, kind of keep it. In. want to find it, can find it. So that's, uh, you <laughs> keep it under wraps, but it's on your website. It's Synergy One, right? And is that a powder? Yeah. Or? Yeah. There is one other product that I like to introduce people to called Oceanormous. Do we have time to talk about another product or not? Sure, sure. Let's do it. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so Oceanormous uh, is 
89 elements approximately uh, that come from the Pacific Ocean and in nature you have a combination of both large elements um, that are 33 atoms in their cluster size or larger and or small elements that exist in 1 to 10 atom particle size. When they're small minerals, they, they are called ormus elements when okay. they're like 1 to 10 atom particle sizes. <clears throat> the ormus or small particle size mineral elements act differently in our bodies than the larger minerals and they appear to act in two significant uh, observed ways. One is to interact with the DNA and cause it to function correctly, potentially even causing it to relax and recombine correctly if it was damaged, also causing the electron flow through the DNA to occur like 10,000 times faster. So they literally are conductors for the flow of information through the body and the nervous system. So your brain works substantially clearer, substantially better <clears throat> to the degree that you were deficient in the before you took these. There is a substantial noticeable improvement in mental cognitive functioning on ocean ormus because it is the Small particle minerals derived from the Pacific Ocean, so harvested at a deep depth so the water is pure, and it's uh, naturally occurring ormus elements in the water, and also naturally occurring ormus elements that have been absorbed into the plankton that are naturally in the ocean. So there's both an organic version and an inorganic version of the ormus elements, and it's a very, very wonderful, wonderful trace mineral supplement for uh, brain function. And one of the things I've noticed in my journey to try and be, you know, a happy, cheerful person <clears throat> is that I can dramatically uh, alter how I function and feel just by the supplements and by the diet. You know, if I've been eating yeah. the cooked food thing in the past, the cooked animals, proteins and things, I can become very depressed and lethargic within three days. Wow. You know, just eat some cooked chicken and whatever. Within three days, I'm, you know, sitting on the couch at night watching TV and <laughs> not having, you know, <laughs> kind of interest and vitality in my own life that I previously had right. <clears throat> and um, you know on this ocean ormus it really keeps you going and keeps you very focused on your particular life interests and passions and, and helping them to happen you and know, it helps with you know achieving a better more uh, meditative state you know I was just going to say uh, I've heard from David Wolf that uh, he's talked a lot about how uh, the amount of minerals that you have in your body and that you ingest, uh, according to him, has a direct correlation to how open your mind is to receive information and just be open to new ideas and be able to go exactly. into creative spaces. I've, I've, I've totally, you're right, Justin. I've yeah. seen that too. I've seen that with myself. I That's one of the reasons. One of my particular interests is focusing upon uh, brain chemistry balancing and helping people to overcome the various imbalanced states that we experience because so many of us have been injured by previous vaccinations, previous drug uses, previous heavy metal exposure, <clears throat> even actual emotional uh, traumas. Uh, all of those things will damage our DNA mm -hmm. uh, permanently and make us uh, tend towards either, you know, hyper, you know, any of the, what do you want to call it, OCD, mm -hmm. whether you want to call it uh, schizophrenia, mm -hmm. uh, uh, whatever the particular label is you want to give to it, it's a brain imbalance, it's a brain chemistry imbalance. And there's various nutrients I know of that you need to take to correct that. And, um, you know, that's one of my areas of uh, specialization, you could say. So that's this awesome. particular mineral supplement, along with a few others, I've got another one called Noble Elements. Um, noble Elements, and along with um, uh, this other one, uh, Mineral Magic, is phenomenal. Uh, just excellent. You take mineral magic, you'll feel all kinds of mental and physical energy. You take ocean ormus, your mind works even better. And then you take noble elements and your body feels like it's reversing aging. Uh, it did on me. It felt like it was reversing aging when I first took it. Wow. Uh, These are very, very powerful products. Now, can you use any of these on your garden? Are they liquid since in, in their you form? You can use mineral magic on your garden, but it uh, wouldn't be cost uh, effective. But okay. yeah. Uh, and and wow. you could, there is actually a company that I know of that's sells um, the ocean ormus in a um, fertilizer version, oh, you know, yeah. where you can buy like five gallons at a time and dilute hmm. it and stuff. Um, but in my experience of growing things, um, my current emphasis is on using uh, compost teas. Have you ever heard of that? Yeah, we just used the progress or the Vortex Brewers compost tea recently. And oh. Yeah, it's amazing and my stuff. my zucchini was full within like two days. It went it, from nothing to like six inches. It's amazing. <laughs> wow. Yeah. How yeah, about you? So did you, you buy, did oh. you buy like a, a pre, a pre, a, a kit, a fertilizer kit to make the tea from? Yeah, it came in like a package, I think. It was a powder and then you, uh, you uh, uh, dilute yeah. it in water and uh, yeah, it's Slap amazing, it isn't it? 
Yeah, that's currently what I'm focusing upon for feeding plants more than just the pure minerals, mm-hmm. because you, those microbes do their you know interplay of being the middle the middleman to predigest things and feed those minerals to the plants through their predigestion and also produce growth factors for the plants. And so that's a much more positive use of one's dollars, I think, on uh, soil fertility is the mm-hmm. compost tea stuff. Yeah. Do you know what's interesting too is when we started our garden, we uh, we put peat moss in there too. Oh, that's right. That's right. Peat moss. Oh, that's good to lighten it for yeah. sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it was cool. That's a good aerator. Yeah, yeah. Well, Stephen, man, wow. you are just on the <laughs> cutting edge, and uh, this is just amazing. Thank you so much for sharing, for being on and being so passionate. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it, Justin. Thanks for having me on, and Kate, it's a pleasure. Oh, it's a I'm pleasure. Really glad you both got to be on here at the same time. Thank you. I, I feel like I learned more in an hour than I did all through school and science class. <laughs> 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 I could have just uh, called you and learned more than uh, <laughs> hey, Steven. I needed to know. Hey, Steven, so just yeah. as we're wrapping up here, uh, what kinds of things, are, do you have any new projects going on, anything going on that you'd like to share with people? Uh, well, I will be coming out with uh, a newsletter and a product package geared towards balancing brain chemistry towards the various different brain chemistry and balance states that happen so that people can, even if a person is saying, you know, well, I'm not really depressed, but, you know, it's hard for me to read for long periods of time or if I want to do intellectual work, I'm not getting, it takes me a while to get it done, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Even if it's just that kind of stuff, you can take these specific nutrients that I know of and so improve your brain uh, degree to which your brain is on and functioning in a precise and clear way that you can do your mental work in half the time that it would previously take you and, and much higher quality. So that's a, that's a project I'm working on and I, I'm doing my homework right now to write up those particular articles. And then, um, you know, and then the ongoing message of just getting the whey protein out there. I have a passion to inspire people to, to, to discover the whole subject of the law of attraction and making it work for them in a much more easy manner than they previously have been able to get to work. And my experience has been that when I do this vegetarian diet and I become more naturally inclined to feeling the vibrations of peace and harmony because I'm more naturally in tune with them and you complement that with meditative work, that then you are really, really much more powerful in putting out into the quantum field or into the omnipresent God mind force that desire and goal that you have or desires and goals you have and making them happen. So to me, I've experienced that it's very much connected to, and I've observed this, very much connected to not eating flesh proteins and staying vegetarian and doing vegetarianism correctly mm-hmm. so that you feel full of vitality and full of you know well-being such that it's easy for you to now manifest and attract what you want into your life that when I eat flesh proteins, it's just, it doesn't uh, happen as well. Wow. Jeez. Well, wow. Yeah. Thank you so much, Stephen, for being on. And uh, Stephen's going to hold on the line for just a moment and uh, we'll be right back. Oh, wow. What did you think about that, Kate? <laughs> my, mind, <laughs> my mind is reeling. Oh, my God. I just love passionate people. Yeah. I love him. He's it, just, oh, firecracker, <laughs> but in just such a intellectual way it just has my mind just I feel like I could sit down and talk with that guy and just learn so much yeah it's interesting too that you know a lot of people just like I said in, during the interview how people just go to GNC and they pick up this protein right. but they just have no idea no. what what's in that and what kind of corn genetically modified corn and antibiotics these cows have and well right and not only is it not helping them like they think it's actually going to do something good it's harming them it's That's harming really sad and then the protein in the powder is probably not even that digestible because it's been cooked and heated and right um Mm. and you know it's interesting too i just find it so fascinating what he was just talking about about how the um the amount of minerals you have in your body and and how it really kind of cleans you out and opens your mind to things right i mean you talk to a bodybuilder in the gym and they're just swigging (laughs) this protein powder down and they don't Mm. care and it's just you know, a guy like this is just, in my mind, on a whole different level. Yeah, I agree. Uh, yeah, it's and it's for me, it's about promoting products that are amazing and cutting edge, but all the way down to every single nuance of the product. Right. Um, you know, the, where this guy was analyzing the grass from different farms and uh, making sure they had certain levels of things. I mean, where do these people even begin? Like, <laughs> this journey is crazy. I know, I know. It's like, 
but it's you know it it happens with people i mean it happened with us it's happening with you now right i mean with uh steven how he had the amalgam fillings the mercury amalgam fillings and had this stuff in his body and was feeling toxic and his whole world changed because now all of a sudden he had to figure out a way to get healthy i mean right i think the thing when he was talking at the beginning about that kind of stuff too is that people a, we're just too busy. B, we get used to the new norm of not feeling well, mm-hmm. which I know I did for so many years. Yeah. You're not even listening to your body. You're mm-hmm. not even listening to how you feel on a day-to-day basis. Right. So you can't really make those changes because you're not even aware that you're in a bad place to begin with. And that just makes me think um, we just need to be in a whole... Whole different. Whole different <laughs> a lot place. needs to change in order to get healthy. Yeah, I hear you. Awareness is the first step, I think. Yeah, and just being able to feel again is huge. That's you know? huge. And it's, I mean, who would relate that to food? Yeah. I know I didn't 10 years ago, and I know the average person today, I mean, I'm sure 90% of the people don't know this. You know, I was this in the, correlated with that. I was in the gym yesterday, and one of the guys that, that worked there was eating uh, gummy bears, you know? Oh, gosh. And he's a trainer. And uh, I was, I told him, man, you know, if I ate that, if I ate those, my, my teeth would fall out. <laughs> but you know why is I think it's because we're somewhat cleaner now right. these days than we were 20 years ago. And even 20 years ago, even though I wasn't as clean as perhaps I am now, I could still burn through it because I was young and had the, the hormones and all that kind of stuff. Right. But it's just amazing how what you get used to, like you said, a new norm mm-hmm. You know, if I ate the standard American diet, I'd, I'd be on the floor. <laughs> I would be completely immobile. Well, I, I have to say, I cheated and ate one of those peeps at Easter, those marshmallow things. Oh, yeah, yeah. I bit into the ear of it, and my tooth felt a sharp pain going up it. Like, I hadn't had that kind of just sugar onslaught oh, man. for years. And I was like, oh, holy cow, this is why I don't do this. <laughs> this is why. Yeah. yeah it's, but it's amazing what your body... Yeah. Can tolerate and not tolerate. If you are interested in checking out this whey protein and want to go through our link, please uh, do that. If you do that, we'll get a little commission. And, you know, we just are promoting the top of the line stuff. I mean, right now, I mean, it could change, but right now this guy, Stephen Heuer, is on the cutting edge. He's promote. he's this raw grass fed whey protein powder is the best that there is and uh, if you want to go through our link you can do that extremehealthradio.com slash whey that's w-h-e-y and that will take you over there and you can check it out Um, you can check out his different products too he's got a lot of great stuff as you heard on the show Um, but that would be a great way to support our work if you're interested in doing that Um, but Whatever you're doing, if you're going to buy some other kind of whey protein powder, that's okay too. That's great. But just make sure that whatever you're putting in your body is... Top of the line. Top of the line and you know what what all the elements are and you know... Know the source. Yeah, know the source and just be... um, just understand what you're putting in so you're not really damaging yourself unknowingly. And remind yourself that you deserve the best Mm -hmm. because I feel like so often we cheat ourselves out of the best for many reasons so right sometimes we don't think we deserve it or whatnot so uh thank you so much for being on the show and a lot of fun steven here man thank you steven i can guarantee you that if you go to gnc and talk to the owners of the products (laughs) that are on the shelf there they're not going to be talking Uh. like this mr steven here did he's amazing he's awesome so thanks for joining us and i hope you got some value out of it if you could would you click the like button on this page which is extremehealthradio.com slash 88 to share it with your facebook friends i would really appreciate that and follow us on facebook as well and um, if you'd like to join our mailing list we send out emails about once a week and got a lot of subscribers on there. And so that would be another great thing you can do. Um, Also, we're going to be rebuilding our store soon. I'm not sure when I'll be able to get to it, but we're going to be rebuilding our store. But we've got about 75 amazing products just like this. I mean, all cutting edge, top of the line products. So check out our store uh, for all kinds of different things. And uh, what else? Um, I want to thank Mike Adams of naturalnewsradio.com for having us on his show. That's really... Thank you, Mike. Yeah, that's really cool to be on Natural News. So anyway, um, if you'd like to send us an email, feel free to do that. Justin at extremehealthradio.com and... Kate at extremehealthradio.com. That's right. (laughs) Kate at extremehealthradio. So uh, thank you so much and we look forward to talking to you next time i just drew a blank <laughs> is that how you're gonna end i looked at something on the screen and you know how guys are we can't we can't do two things at once and 
<laughs> and your one thing was being done, so you could <laughs> add another. <laughs> My mind turned off. Maybe I need uh, some. Uh, some. I think oh, you need some whey protein. <laughs> <laughs> oh man uh, so it can free up your brain to do other things like think <laughs> <laughs> and do